fireflies will light up all night. Amazing little insects. So cool! Fireflies are amazing! So, where are Euclid and I going to sleep? You two get to sleep on these cots. Now, if you boys need anything in the night, we're right down the hall. <laughs> It'll be fine <laughs> sleeping here. <laughs> Up and down and round and round There's no rush, you've got a brush Your moms don't see that? Not mine. Huh. I guess everyone does it a little different. But you know what we all do alike, right? squeaky and lumpy. Mine too. Maybe we should switch. <laughs> I almost forgot. We can't go to sleep until we do our monster check. Monster check? It's easy. We count to three, then look under our beds to make sure there aren't any monsters. One, two, three, monster check. <laughs> Looks like we're monster free. But I'm lucky. I always have Blobby to keep me safe during the night. And I have my Fuzzy at home. Right, Euclid? Euclid? can give me swimming lessons. Really? Yeah. See, I didn't want to go to the beach yesterday because I'm not a very good swimmer. And I'm nervous about getting into the water. Mm -hmm. Swimming lessons? What a great idea, Llama Llama! Really? You think so? Sure. I think we're all a little nervous about going to the beach. I could use some more practice before hitting the waves. I bet Gilroy and Euclid could, could too. Well then, I have an idea. Uh, Mama, could you give all of us a swimming lesson? Of course I could. What a hoot. The more the merrier. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. You see, honey, sometimes you just have to tell your friends what's worrying you, and it might turn out that they feel the same way. You're right, Mama. As usual. Welcome to my pool, kids. Me, Aqua, as Sue, Aqua, as they say. Now, before we start, just remember, everyone can swim at different levels. <laughs> Hope I'm not too late. Hey, kiddo. Ready to get wet? Grandpa? What are you doing here? Going to help teach us how to swim? Well, no. You see, your mama told me you were worried about getting in the water, and I got to thinking, I, I feel the same way. You? You're scared of the water? Yeah, I never really learned to swim either. Really? Whoa. <laughs> so, we're kind of the same? 
exactly the same. We'll stick together, kiddo. Okay, let's all get in the pool. You can let go of the side of the pool. It's pretty shallow here. But what if my head goes underwater or, or if my ears get wet? I did that yesterday, too. It was fine. Plus, we're all here. It feels quite nice, I think. Just wash your face with the water so you get used to it. Hold your breath. Dip your face in and come right up. <gasps> <gasps> hey! I did it! Wanna learn some other stuff? Okay, try this. Kick your legs and then paddle your hands underwater. They call this dog paddling. I call it new paddling. Prefer sheep paddling. Grandpa, we're llama paddling. <laughs> and he's duck paddling. <laughs> puff up, puff down. Puff up, puff down. Puff up. Puff down, puff up, puff down. Welcome to our overnight camping adventure in the woods. I love nature during the day and at night, and now we'll enjoy it together. Yay! The woods are cool during the day, and even cooler at night. Yes, especially the temperature. I see you all have one bag. This is all I brought. I brought this one bag and this. But I just have what I need, the essentials. That's a lot of essentials. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing really out here. We have to bring it all. There are more bugs out here. Just tell the bugs, leave me alone. You have to be brave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my brave campers. We have a fun opportunity to be creative without gadgets, and we will. But first, let's go on a short hike. Yeah! Yeah! Great, then we'll set up camp. I like this plan. Let me just put it in my directional device. Euclid, remember, no gadgets. But it could help us. Well, I'll try. Hmm. This no gadgets challenge may not be so easy. Now remember kids, we're guests here in the woods, so we have to be considerate. No moving things around, no littering. We leave only footprints in nature. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these trees are so tall. Kids, let's all line up and stay in line <laughs> for our hike. Good. Now as we hike, let's do what my mama told me when I was your age. Enjoy the woods and use all of your senses. First smell. <gasps> Next, touch this soft moss. Ah. <laughs> so soft. I agree. Okay, next, we look. Oh! Look at this cool plant with teeny orange flowers! Oh, oh cool! Yeah. And look, this plant has huge leaves! And... Ah! Ew! A furry spider! Cool! Huh. Be brave, Luna. It won't hurt you. Hi, Spidey! Here's some we can use, Mama. Great idea to use your old baby blanket for a tail. Thanks. I can't wait to show Nellie and Luna my llama llama swirl around the kite. To the park. Whoa, your llama llama kite is super terrific. 
Love the pictures on it, Llama Llama. Hey, check out my Nelly kite of many colors. That's great, Nelly. And may I present my hand-woven bird kite. Amazing! Very impressive, Luna. Come on! I'm so excited! The sun's out and we're going to have the best last day of summer ever! Grammy Grandpa! Wow! Those are all great kites! So, we have new paddles for later when we watch the sunset from our boat in the town pond. Everyone's invited! That'll be so fun, Graham! <laughs> I thought we were going to wait and fly kites together. I can't wait! Come on! This looks like a good place to fly our kites. Everywhere's a good place! There are too many trees here. Oh, look! We'll help you get that down, Nellie. Ahoy! I see you chose kite flying for the day. My plan is to ride the park and calculate how the sun changes position in the sky. I think a long stick or a ladder at an angle would help. 